What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about is the supposed M27 here within Black Ops 3. If you guys have not seen this before, it's something that has been around for a little bit of time now. This has been in the game code since roughly the beta of Black Ops 3. This was when it was initially first found and a lot of people were like, yo, last assault rifle confirmed M27. Well, as it stands right now, you can see that we clearly don't have the M27 in Black Ops 3, but just today early Earlier, I got tweeted a screenshot asking is this a brand new weapon in Black Ops 3's multiplayer Which is something we're gonna be taking a look at here today So this image I'm not sure if I'm gonna show it up on screen just yet or not if it is not on screen right now It'll be down there in the description below for you to check out the link and see it all itself So with this it's a little confusing because usually the M27 is something you'd see in the ARs category, right? Well, this is actually listed in the secondaries with the War Machine as its secondary name. So, firstly, for those of you guys wondering why it says the War Machine and why the Annihilator is actually listed as well, this is because it's a showcase weapon, not necessarily, say, per se, in-game class setups here with it. So, it's something that it's just a showcase weapon and you have various options here within it. But why the M27 shows up, that is the big question here as to what it is. So, there are two ways we can look at this. I'm more so on the fence of it not being legit, but I'm also open to the idea and the possibility that it could be coming sometime later down the line. So firstly, why I believe it's not legit here. This is something that we've seen a lot of code left over from Black Ops 2. A lot of code in Black Ops 3, surprisingly, is copy and pasted and then heavily modified either in some aspects or not even really modified in some other ones as well. Now, coming out of the beta, we saw this and the MP7 also in Black Ops 3. These were the almost the exact same models and renders from Black Ops 2, which, as we've seen in other weapons, not really many of the art styles in terms of how the modeling is done, they don't look exactly like Black Ops 2. It's a more futuristic version of it, as per the times. So, that is something that I feel it's just leftover code here, and it's just a bug that it made its way over into this, especially into the secondaries category. So, that's something that is, I think, on my mind as to why it's not legit, but if you're on the fence, here and wondering will this actually be something that could come later down the line it's quite possible we can see DLC coming here we haven't had any announcement of weapon DLC in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 which we've had weapon DLC here for the past couple of years now since Black Ops 2 every single game has had weapon DLC some more than others but right now we haven't even had any announcement of any weapons coming to Black Ops 3 although David Vonerhaar said that over the course of the next couple of weeks to months here and especially right after the double weapon XP happens, there are going to be more things rolling out to Black Ops 3. Now, that was a very cryptic more things, nothing was really specified, but weapon DLC is one of those things that's up on the chopping block for maybe it could be coming, and with the M27 and the MP7 already in the game code, it wouldn't be the most absurd thing to see make its way into Black Ops 3. So that's where we're going to wrap this one up here today, ladies and gentlemen. Love to hear your thoughts on this one. What do you think? Do you think it's legit? Do you think it's not legit? Do you think it's coming to Black Ops 3, or do you not? Love to hear your thoughts. I'm open to any and all opinions here within this. So if you guys did like the video, be sure to like writing down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers. So every little bit does in fact help and is as always greatly appreciated. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Take care and peace.